what are you cooking? Because this what? is an interesting dish. I'm looking forward to this. Yes, I'm doing a Rajasthani spice grilled fillet of mackerel yeah. with yogurt curry sauce and um, a southern Indian spinach and coconut porial. Now, running through, first of all, we've got the mackerel. We'll get on to yeah. that in a minute. But what spices have we got, got going the, on to the mackerel first? Yeah, the, the, the spices for the mackerel are going to be cloves, pepper, cinnamon, um, a bit of red chilli and uh, cumin. And so these are the spices. We're going to grind them into a coarse crust. I don't like them too fine. Okay, we'll like them to be severe. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I'm going to smear the fillet. Well, I've got to fillet the fish first. Fillet the fish. Yeah. So um, mackerel. I mean, we're, we're cooking very much the chef's favourite things. We had monkfish cheeks. We've got the old rump steak. Mackerel is another great fish, isn't it? Really. Absolutely. And it's, it's this time of the year again. You know, it's. Um, I'm, I'm really surprised how few Indian restaurants um, use mackerel on the menu. Very, yeah. very few. Um, but it's, it's this local, seasonal, and I think it it handles spice really well. It's a great fish, yeah. but it needs to be really, really fresh, doesn't I it? I couldn't that's, agree and that's, more. I think that's the main problem, really. I couldn't agree more. Yeah. You've got to have it really fresh. Yeah. Or fish for it kind yourself of. at this time of year, eh? Fish where well, you just throw anything in the water. And it Did you ever do that as a boy? Like, oh, if, yeah. you know, you come up with six mackerel on yeah. the one line. It's <laughs> such a it's such a gas. There you go. Yeah. All right, so we've got mackerel. Just taking the bones out. Yeah. OK. Now, these spices have ground up the cinnamon, and then you want me to put the rest of the spices in. Yeah. Which I'll put in there. A few, just not so many cloves, no? So not, not as many, no. Just, just, just use a few. Two or three okay. should be fine. There we go. I'll just trim this a little bit. Give this a quick yeah. grind up as well some, with some salt. Okay. That's perfect. Now, your early career, yeah. your father didn't want you to be a chef, did he? Well, um, I don't India. think any, any father or any, any parents in India, at least at the time that I was growing up, wanted their children to be... Um, to be um, chefs, yeah. But you know, like all other parents, they would want me to become either a doctor or an engineer, or going to um, go into um, administrative services or something like that. But you know, what else? We've got some salt in there already, have we? Yes, salt's okay. in there. Yeah. My dad told me I should open up a fish and chip shop because I would make more money. Is he that what he said? He thought chefing was a waste of time. Did. Well. I'm sure my parents would have changed their mind as well. I want to, I want to be a vet. My dad said I was daft, and he said, you, all, you like all your animals with chips anyway, so what's the point? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, so we've got in here our mackerel, lovely. Yeah, a tiny bit of squeeze of lemon on it. Yeah. And a dash of oil. But your early career, I mean, took yeah. you to... I should, mean, we, should we have a bit of oil on the, the uh, mackerel as well? Yeah, that, chef, there yeah. you go. Thank but you. But your career took you to some, I mean, some unbelievable hotels and one in particular which won the award what the best best luxurious hotel in the world the, the best hotel in the world by Tatler magazine in 2001 yeah this was um, Raj Vilas I was working at the Oberoi hotels I in fact worked all my life at the Oberoi hotels I didn't sort of before coming here um, I'd, I'd worked all the time I and mean, this this hotel when it opened it sort of can we sort of stick get, that the, get that into I've the thing? Stick it in the I'll start don't forget that all the recipes cooked in the studio, including this one from Vivek, are on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash food. Uh, Paul will be doing a live web chat straight after the show, so you can log on and put your questions straight to him. That's gone in there. Okay, what's yeah. next? I've, what's got, next? I've got a pinch of you go. chickpea flour, a tiny bit of turmeric, and you won't even see it initially. You might yeah. feel it's not enough, but... And now this is water. the sauce to go with it. Yeah, yeah, this is the sauce, and it's essentially a very traditional, basic curry. You you have this as a soup. You you have it um, as a sauce with the rice, and so just mix it all up. The deck turmeric. I mean, to my palate, there's not much taste from it. Is it mainly used for color, or is is there a flavor that turmeric's phenomenal? Turmeric's uh, meant to be really good. It's 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 used in almost every northern Indian dish you will find. And the reason for that is, it's considered to be an excellent antiseptic. It bring, brings up your immune system to sort of handle cuts and wounds really and stuff like that. It's very, very, very good. And the thing about turmeric is you should always see it, never taste it. If you're tasting turmeric, then there's something wrong. Yeah. Yeah, because you, you've added far too much of it. There you go. And then, <clears throat> okay, so in this pan now, I'm going to put a little bit of oil and then get your onions going. Which one do you want? I've got, no, that's for my tempering and that's for the spinach. So onions, you get right. that. Okay, here. so I'm going to put my onions Cheers. in there. I've got a bit of... Okay. So tell us about the Cinnamon Club, because, yeah. I mean, you went from working in one of the greatest restaurants, uh, greatest hotels in the world, to producing yeah. one of the greatest Indian restaurants in the world. Well, at the time, it just sort of seemed like the right thing, because um, I'd, I'd been in India long enough, and I'd, you know, sort of worked up, um, sort of done a lot of Indian food, top-end Indian food, and I'd, I'd got to a stage where I thought it wasn't going to get any better than that, so... And it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily going to get changed, so... 
Indian food in India wasn't prepared to sort of change or evolve. And I thought it was high time, like everything else, all other cuisines, um, evolution is so important. Mm. Yeah. And if you aren't constantly moving, then you know, you're definitely falling behind. So that was the idea. When Cinnamon Club, Club came about, I thought it was a wonderful opportunity to create something new. And what better place than London to do it? Since curry is such a... Are you thinking mm. of taking it that way now? Taking it, it back will home? eventually, yes. I, uh, you know, the idea is one day to take a restaurant back, back a restaurant, to India. modern, yeah, modern really? Indian restaurant back to India. <laughs> but I suppose there'll be a few stops before that. Yeah, yeah. Because it's not. This is. I mean, you run about looking at as, what a second restaurant as well coming shortly as well. Yes, I've got a very interesting concept uh, we're working on right now, uh, looking at another opportunity. Um, it's uh, going to be slightly less formal than the Cinnamon Club, of course. You know, it's not going to be in the library for a start, but similar ethos of creativity and innovation. I'm going to take, yep. I, I think this, this, the onions could take a touch more oil, so I'm okay. going to just do that. Have you added any salt in there? Uh, no salt in there, chef. Yeah. No, so no. Let's do a bit of salt. There you go. So that's, that's about yeah. two and a half, three minutes in there. Yeah. Do you always put salt in your onions when you're cooking them, Vivek? I beg your pardon? Do, do you, is it important to put a lot of salt in onions when you're cooking them? In the onions? Yeah. No, 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 not a lot. But it's just, if you add a bit of salt initially, it sort of releases the, the juices from there and cooks it faster, helps it cook faster. Okay. So, so sure, apart yeah. from the cinnamon club and everything else, I mean, the books, you seem to be rolling them out more, <laughs> than, more than Mr. Rankin over there. Well, I've done three. I'm working on my fourth. Yeah. And it's, it's going to come out later in the year. It's going to be called Curry classic and contemporary. And um, uh, the, I mean, when we first started thinking, thinking about the idea, thought, there was, you know, there was there's about 13,000 Indian uh, sort of curry books already in yeah. the market. Why bother with another one? But then we thought, hey, listen, there's so many curry books, but not, nothing really, nothing really sort of has dealt with evolution of food yeah. or evolution of Indian food or evolution of curry as we've you know, begun to see in this country in the last six, seven years. We thought that was a fantastic and interesting so subject. That's what you're working at the moment. But yeah. what, what's going in there then? So well, this is the yogurt and the, what the you there? Curry, curry leaves? Bit of curry chili. leaves, a bit of chili and a bit of cumin just okay. to temper. And it's called a tarka. This is what, yeah. The right. tarka essentially is, a, is the process of tempering. And in here we've, we've got the got, sauce there, yeah. We've got, in there we've got onions, we've got mustard seeds. Onions, curry mustard leaves. seeds, curry leaves, um, sort of sweated off. Yeah. And we've got the salt and the seasoning in there. A tiny bit of. And is this a traditional Indian dish? This is. This this is yes a very very um, popular southern Indian accompaniment. I'd say. Right. You know that you could do this with beans. You could do this with cabbage. Yeah. Use a touch of turmeric in there if you're using cabbage. It makes it a very nice, interesting colour. You, you can see it's very simple and easy to do. Very quick as well, but. Well, your and there. so the uses, yeah, that's the sauce. The sauce is so, simple as that. Yeah, as simple as that, really. Um, nice sort of colors on it, very light yogurt. And the flour that you got in there will stop it's, the it's yogurt from splitting. Yeah. Exactly, that's the thing. And while it was cooking, I wasn't, until it comes to a boil, I'm not allowed to sort of let it go because it'll split. Yeah. And let me just... Later. Flavors and the smell. Yeah. Smell wow. is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Nice and sort of fresh and. Yeah. yeah. Okay. A little bit of that. And then the fish. Let's get the fish going. And you can see how the turmeric has coloured the sauce as well. It's just. There you go. And another one. And a mackerel like that, literally okay. two and a half, three minutes under the grill. Wow. Done. It's fantastic. How oh, brilliant. So is that's. That? Remind us what that is again. Uh, it's a Rajasthani spice grilled fillet of mackerel with yogurt curry sauce and a southern Indian spinach and coconut poreal. Cooked in eight minutes. Genius. Mm. There you go, you saw it. It really was cooked in eight minutes. Over here. There you go. You don't need to wash oh. up, you're all right. There you go. <laughs> oh. Dive into that. Now, I know you've been looking forward to this one. There you go. <laughs> to have a taste, see what you think. But that mackerel does oh, lend itself really well together with that. The, yeah, the, it's, it's a wonderful thing. Traditionally, you wouldn't use um, these spices on fish, and you wouldn't imagine um, mm. things like cloves and cinnamon and pepper yeah, and yeah, such yeah. strong, sort of robust spices. They'd be used with game. But it works beautifully with mackerel, and especially because it's cooked just for three minutes. I mean, people would have difficulty getting fresh mackerel, any other type of salmon, would it work? 
Um, to that, or I, trout suppose, or I suppose a bream, um, a, a bream or something as simple as sea bass, right. a salmon. Uh, fresh trout when it's around is, yeah. is, is brilliant for this as well. Nice and slightly oh. oily. Uh. It's amazing. I don't know how, how you use such forceful spices mm. and then get it so delicate so you can taste mm. everything through it. Yeah, you taste yeah. the mackerel beautifully, but the spicing is there. But the wine's delicious. going to be a difficult match today, so let's go back to Great mm. Melbourne, see what Peter has chosen to go with Vivek's marvellous mackerel.